Apple have finally resolved the iPhone 13 Face ID screen replacement issue through a new update in iOS 15.2. Thank you to The Verge for confirming with Apple last week that a software update would be released to resolve this issue. And we got our hands on the iOS 15.2 beta to complete our own testing. If you want to catch up on our previous research, we'll link a video in our bio, and that was our original research that confirmed the microchip that controls the screen is now communicating with Face ID. And that was originally killing Face ID when the communication between the screen and Face ID was broken. And to confirm, the breaking communication that we're speaking about is if you were to have your screen replaced outside of the Apple network, where the replacement screen would not be programmed to communicate with Face ID in the same way that the iPhone was made. The only previous resolution for this was to move over or to resolder the microchip that's on the screen. But of course, this is not a viable option for many companies based around the world. So back to our testing here, and just to confirm, we're using iPhone 1 and screen 2 now. So this is the screen that is not paired to the iPhone, but the original iPhone that we're using. And immediately, Upon load, we did not get the warning message to say that Face ID is disabled. What we do get when we enter the iPhone is a warning message to say that the iPhone is unable to verify if this screen is an Apple genuine. But this is really misleading for consumers because the screen that I have on the iPhone at the moment is an Apple genuine. And a genuine screen has different architecture to a screen that isn't genuine. So the iPhone itself should be able to verify if I have a genuine or if I do not. But back to our testing of Face ID. So here I was able to set up Face ID immediately and this to, to confirm iOS 15.2 beta, which will be released publicly very, very soon. So to confirm, if you have your screen replaced outside of the Apple network, like we have here, even if it's with an Apple genuine screen, you will now not lose Face ID. But we do believe that this was just a glimpse into the future where screens will continue to communicate with the biometrics in the iPhone. We'll of course keep you up to date with our research.